I want to thank the University of Integrated Science this we're standing in front of now for all the support that they've given me through the years. Because today we stand upon the threshold of a very exciting moment. A moment where we can see science and spirituality merging into one. And for this, they've been a great part of it, and I honor them. Advanced Tachyon has been devoted to the task of merging science and spirituality into a synergistic process known as tachyonization. Today, we enjoy the next step of this evolutionary process with the release of a new scientific, patentable method of measuring a tachyonized material. I feel blessed and humbled to be a part of this exciting time. A time when Gerhard Echt has provided research proving that a tachyonized material has an effect unlike any other material ever tested. This new test has been submitted for a U.S. patent. The test is referred to as the ECT-T test. Now the significance of the following research will be seen on many levels. On one level, the research implications invite the scientific community at large to begin to study the potential tachyonized materials with their negative entropic effects and what they offer our global community. On another level, the effects of tachyonized materials can now be tested by any pharmacologist, inviting the global research community to participate on levels never before imagined. And since there are so many tachyon imposters out there, they, they illegally use ATTI's text, our trademarks, and our good work and faith in an effort to just usurp the world out of the possibilities of employing the negative entropic energies of tachyonized materials. It will be exciting to finally be able to share with you the proof of the truth. Now it all began probably back, I'd say 1990, with the invention of the tachyonization process. As the effects were experienced, independent researchers from around the world began testing tachyonized materials. Well, with each of the tests came a deeper understanding of the potentials of tachyonized materials. And it also encouraged advanced tachyon technologies to develop a product line to fit almost any situation. Today, ATTI provides tachyonized materials to over 93 countries and growing. Well, the ECT is a simple test. It opens the door to the entire scientific community. But what is most exciting to me is that it challenges with proof that which the scientific mind believed to be impossible. The test uses sodium chloride crystals, which are cubic in form and tightly bound together through ionic bonding of the sodium and chloride ions. The test can measure the typical recrystallization of sodium chloride. A specific preparation is required in order to accurately account for all the solvated sodium chloride. The ECT is very detailed in the exact preparation and testing process. The ECT results are aligned with all scientific expectations. You see, when sodium chloride reforms, crystals are always created due to the evenness of sodium and chloride ions. This is caused by a strong ionic bond which has until now always bound into cubic crystals. Now these photos from the ECT research show typical recrystallization forms. Notice the sharp edges and cube forms of these crystals. They are tightly bound sodium chloride cubic crystals. Well, what makes today exciting is what does not happen when tachyonized materials are introduced into the situation. The cubic crystals generally do not form. There is something forming, this is true, but the expected cube forms are not what we see here. Of course, if you read my book, authored with Dr. Gabriel Cousins, Tachyon, a new paradigm in holistic healing, you may understand what is happening. But let me state it here briefly. According to the energetic continuum theory, 
when a taconized material affects a subtle organizing energy field, in this case the solvated chlorine, the chlorine evolves into its natural form, which happens to be a gas. This happens before the sodium has a chance to rebond, thereby leaving the sodium in its natural metal form. The ECT allows us to prove that tachyonized materials have unprecedented effects. But this is no surprise. Since the early 90s, everyone with a hot tub or pool who used tachyonized discs to charge the water knows how difficult it was to maintain the chlorine level. Why? Because it just evaporates off. The ECT measures and proves this on a microscopic level. Here are four images from an ECT test. This is the control image used as the standard for which all others are compared. Now, can you tell which one of these has been influenced by taconized products? And which of the other two are clearly imposters? Here, let me give you a hint. The imposter test results looks very much like the control results, and the true taconized material results lacking in abundant chlorine molecules looks very different. When you compare these to the control, it is clear which company's products help the chlorine evolve back to its natural balanced state, and which cannot. The fact is that taconized products are the only material that have ever been tested which demonstrate this effect. This again has led to a US patent application. But what are the other imitators you may ask? There are many. The following independent research was conducted in Germany by Gerhard Echt. Clearly it demonstrates that the following ATTI imposters or imitators their products cannot evolve the chlorine back to gas, but rather they recrystallize back to the cubic form. In fact, as you look at these results photos, you would be hard pressed to see any difference between the control photos and any of the result photos of these popular imitators. None of these imitators products created the desired negative entropic effects. Are you surprised? I'm not. You know, we really hope you understand this reality check, because it's most exciting to share with you the truth. The research needed to expose these imposters is now here. But on a more futuristic note, and a happy note, the ECT test should stimulate the scientific mind into questioning what it believed, and it should open the door to evolution. Already, an independent institute has taken this information and reported successful experiments in reducing side effects of medicaments exposed to tachyonized materials. Plant a simulation of salt charged with tachyonized materials, they say can possibly re be reduced as much as 30%, which would be great for the earth. An extensive research on animal assimilation of salt and minerals charged with tachyonized materials has suggested a dramatic decrease in the amount necessary to promote the desired effects. This really should lead to evolving new potentials that are currently unimaginable. Since 1990, tachyonized materials have been changing lives. Now we're able to change the world. This is the beauty of tachyonized materials. We can use them to help evolve a form to its highest potential. Plants, animals, and even our bodies can benefit from the negative entropic effects of tachyonized materials, evolving us to our highest potential. And really, when you think about it, why else are we here if not to continually evolve towards our highest potential? So I just want to say to you, enjoy your journey, and I'll see you again.